First, we're going to start with a blank watercolor postcard from Strathmore. Then pick two to three complementary colors from a pack of Crayola markers. Next, grab a Ziploc bag and scribble sporadically staggering the colors all around. I decided to add a third color last minute. Now you're going to grab your spray bottle, give that bag a few spritz, and we're going to put the blank watercolor postcard on the napkin, flip it over, and press your fingers all around mixing in those colors well. Now for the big reveal. Ah! Okay, there is a little bit of excess, so I will dab it on the napkin just to kind of help it dry a little faster. A couple more dabs, and I think we'll be ready to just let it finish drying naturally. I'm liking how this is turning out. Now that it's dry enough to letter on, I'm going to use a General's charcoal pencil to pencil out my lettering. So the first thing I'm going to do is the big amount of lettering that will be the word hope. And then I'm going to add in some smaller letters that say abound in. So abound in hope, and it's from Romans 517. Now we're going to grab our Painter's Brand paint pen. I'm using a fine tip and creating a little pool of paint so that I can dip back and forth in it. That really helps out a lot so that the paintbrush tip does not get too dry. You will see me retracing and going over these letters quite a bit just to make sure that enough paint is deposited and it's continually drying as I'm writing on it because this is a watercolor paper so it's soaking in all that paint. But it's okay because we're gonna go back, let this dry, and I will still add a second coat in the end. Now the lettering method that I'm using for the word hope is called faux calligraphy and it never fails if I post a lettering video like this I will get comments on you know how do I learn to letter like that and so I do have an online lettering class that teaches faux calligraphy along with these print letters that I'm doing here. Um, so if you're interested in that I will put the information to it and my lettering workbook in the comments of this video. Okay we are almost done and I will give you a zoom in of that second coat. You're going to see me go back to that pool of paint a good bit, and I'm just brightening up that white after it had dried just a little, and I just think that brighter white on the contrasted background looks really good. I was trying to decide who to send this to, and I thought it would be fun to pick someone who's placed an order on imperfectdust.com in this past month. Um, I'll just actually wait until the end of January, so whoever places an order on imperfectdust.com in the month of January, this card could come to you. And my prayer is that it will be someone who needs the encouragement to abound in hope. Look at that texture. I love how this turned out. 